The youth wing of uh, the MK party is reportedly up in arms following the release of the party's parliamentary list for both provincial and national elections. They briefed the media earlier. For more, let's now bring in our senior reporter, Samkele Maseko, who attended that briefing. Samkele, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now, just talk to us about what came out of that briefing. We know, of course, that the party's candidate list was also leaked over the weekend. The AMK party is basically saying that the former president Jacob Zuma is their candidate and there will be no other presidential candidate of this specific organization apart from former president Jacob Zuma. Bongosi Kanyele, the interim president of MK Youth, also going as far as to saying that the youth structures of the organization must stop mobilizing and organizing around his name, saying that there's no youth representation in the list of MK to the legislatures and to the National Assembly saying that their preoccupation as the youth is the building of the MK party and not to go to government at this point in time and that of course he does want the youth in influential positions of power in government and in the legislatures but at this point in time they must not be preoccupied with lists and also going as far as to saying that if there is no MK on the ballot paper and there is no face of former President Jacob Kedaishegi Sazuma on the ballot paper they will be no elections within the country come the 29th of May. Uh, and Samkele, I mean, are we starting to hear a stance there, particularly from Kanyile, in as far as the EFF is concerned? Of course, we know not too long ago, you know, he said that uh, he was very critical about the EFF and in particular its leader, Julius Malema. Uh, now it seems like he is wanting to see some form of uh, coordination between parties like the EFF, the ATM, the PAC, um, and of course the MK party to unite against what he calls... Uh, you know, common enemies. What can we read into that? Kanyela is essentially saying the same words as former President Jacob Zuma that these political formations, MK Party, Patriotic Alliance, you go as far as going to other political formations like the Economic Freedom Fighters, like the party led by ATM, by Vuyo Zungule, these parties must all work together. UDM of Bantu Holomisa, PAC of Mzwanele Nyonzo must all come together in order to achieve a two-thirds majority within the country, in order to effect changes in this African constitution, to expropriate land without compensation, to nationalize strategic sectors of the economy, such as the nationalization of the banks within the country, the nationalization of of this African Reserve Bank as well, essentially saying that these all black political formations must come together and they must constitute a two-thirds majority in order to effect the change that they want to see within the country, saying that the ANC is a far gone party, it's working with white monopoly capital within the country and they are not going to assist in the transformation of the second radical phase within the country.